This is my K10 swap. I want to go over a few things for everybody. First of all, that's 5.3, the 4L80, 4L60E transmission. To start with, I use Dirty Dingo engine mounts down in the bottom there. Also used LS3 manifolds, so did not have to modify the frame rail. That air conditioner is off an 89S10 4.3. So is the lines. Lines line up good here. And on this end, you gotta do a little bending on this top right here, but you can bend that out and it'll line right up. The vent hose I hooked in right here. And that's where the old heater core used to hook into. This is the radiator out of the 85. And everything else is out of the 2005. Over here, I did a couple things. Uh, one, the uh, this truck is dual tanks. To make the dual tanks work, I put a little uh, pump in the back by the tank's electric pump. That electric pump is tied, comes up and pumps into this G-surge tank. And the G-surge tank goes over to the LS with that nice braided AN line. And it also has a return that comes back to it. Uh, another thing I did up front here, mounted my fuse panel right there. ECM is mounted right there. That's a dirty dingo mount. And I've just got some all thread holding it up. And the all thread is covered with some, some black uh, tubing to make it look a little better. I uh, did move my battery to this side. You can buy that bracket from LMC. It's really cheap. Uh, back here in the back, this is where I mounted my uh, TAC module or the th throttle pedal module, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this truck does have everything in it. Works pretty good. Um, I wired my check engine light to the choke. As you can see the fasten seatbelt light comes on. You put it in four wheel drive, that light comes on. And the other light there is just the brake light. Pretty easy there. Uh, to make all those work, I just uh, put a relay in for the four wheel drive, use a switch from a 98. The choke or check engine light, I actually cut the wire on the back of the uh, connector and tied right into it. I believe it was a dark blue wire. Cruise control on this does work uh, as it should. Pretty simple hookup. There is four wires. If you have a power probe, you can find the hot wire, which is a pink wire, and hook power to it. And just turn these on and off. I believe the on is a gray wire, and the set is a blue or green, and the resume is a blue or green. Anyway, you can hook those right up straight into your LS swap. And if you don't know what wires to use, you get on lt1.com and do that. Now you're also going to need an adapter for your transfer case from Advanced Adapters. If you buy that adapter and put it in and buy the Dirty Dingo engine mounts, you will not have to buy drive shafts. They will fit right back in. Uh, they did for me. And left some glasses up there. Uh, the other thing is down here with the power steering lines. Uh, the lines are actually off of the 85. They bolt right to the back of the LS block. Uh, LS power steering pump makes things really easy. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. The uh, swap's not that difficult. I did this in about two weeks by myself uh, with no help. And uh, I didn't have any trouble. I do like the uh, LS1 brackets AC adapter. However, I did have to shim the um, tensioner pulley out just by putting a washer behind it. Uh, a couple other things on the wiring harness. 
hooking the wires up for this is really easy. Uh, what you're going to want to do, keep your original, keep your original harness intact over here. And really, you don't have very many wires here at all. It's just this top group. Your purple goes to your start wire. Your pink is going to go to your key on. And your red wires there, you're going to want to hook them straight to your battery, and that'll make your alternator gauge work. After that, you've got a green wire that's going to run over to your temperature sensor. I bought a temperature sensor that has a third wire on it. Um, that temperature sensor allows you to plug in the ECM to it and also allows you to run your gauge inside the truck. Uh, same thing with the oil pressure gauge. I bought an adapter that goes down by the oil filter. Put that on and screwed my factory 85 gauge into that. Uh, so what's cool about this truck is when you get in it, start it up, all the gauges work just like it did in 1985. The air conditioner works just like it did in 1985. Everything works. Four-wheel drive light. Everything. It's not a bad truck. It's my little square body. I bought this thing with a bad engine, but painted like this for five grand. So got 2000 in the swap. I know that's kind of pricey, but I did buy my swap from a company called Mars Performance or I'm sorry, it's Mars Junkyard, I guess, in uh, Akron, Ohio. The reason I bought it there was because they give you everything that you need. You get the motor, you get the ECM. ECM's already flashed. It's already had the wiring harness done. Um, they gave me the manifolds for free. I was able to get the factory air cleaner that I thought I was gonna use, but wind up not using. And uh, you just get a complete kit complete everything and uh, if I had to do it over again I would probably try to do it myself uh, just because I don't like how their wires come out you know they are definitely limit you they come out in the factory location and I kind of got them snaked around here and figured out but that definitely limits where you can put your ECM I would have liked to have put mine in the truck somewhere, but there's really not a lot of room in there anyway. And I don't think that looks too bad where it's at. Uh, if you got any questions, let me know. Uh, I've never put a video on here before, so I'll try to get back with you. Um, but I'll probably shoot you my email address, tell you everything I used. Um, but you can do this swap really pretty easy. And uh, it'll make your your square body a blast to drive. Still got to put a steering wheel on it, and uh, but pretty cool.